so in this video we will add a pass fail test step to a sequence and configure the step to call a function in a lab windows cvi dll code module by specifying the module adapter to use test end does not need the source code to invoke a dll code module instead test end uses module adapters to determine the type of code module how to call the code module and how to pass parameters to the code module so let's go to the workspace and from there let's select computer sequence then let's go to the file menu and from there save computer sequence as let's save it as computer to sequence next let's add the newly created file to the project let's open it so let's go to the insertion pane and from there we can either select this uh, icon or we can use this uh, toolbar to achieve the same functionality the adapter we select applies only to the step types that can use the module adapter when we insert a step in a sequence test stand configures the step to use the adapter that we selected from the insertion palette the icon for the step reflects the adapter that we selected when we select non as the adapter and then insert a step the new step does not call a code module we can use the general tab on the properties tab of the step settings pane uh, to change the associated adapter after we insert the step so let's go to the insertion palette and below the uh, test section we have this pass fail test let's drag it to below the ram and another way to do the same is to select where we want the test to insert and right click the in the test and then insert step uh, we can use a pass fail test step to call a code module that returns a pass fail determination after the code module executes the passed fail test step evaluates a boolean expression to determine whether the step passed or failed 
so let's rename this step right click it and then select rename or press the F2 and let's call it video test and let's save the changes and this is how we can insert steps into sequence files.